Carmen, you're mm-hmm. a woman. I am. Last time I checked. <laughs> right. Hilarious. Clyde, you're more man than woman. Is there ever a situation where a man should hit a woman? Absolutely. Mm, never. Absolutely. Why never? Why do you feel, well, not you, but why would men feel the need to ever put your hands on a woman? Ever. Hit her. No matter how irritating she may be to you, how angry she may make you, I feel like that never justifies hitting your woman. If if the bitch got a gun towards me. (laughs) I'm not. That's gonna, different. I feel like it's no, situational. No, that, that's not what well, he said. You said never. He is what I'm saying. Mm. You said then, never. No, if you are putting my life, if your my life child's in life in risk and danger, uh, I make that exception. I'm that knocking exception. your bitch ass out. That makes out. sense because you you trying to save yourself. I get it. You want to live. I'm gonna kill that bitch before she okay. kills me. But in a relationship, like just it ain't so, no life or death. <laughs> no. So. Even if a, a woman hits a man first, it's not okay. No. No, I heard some shit where niggas was, and this is going to sound so bad. I know it's going to come back and bite me in my ass later in life. But niggas was like, uh, Rihanna didn't get abused. She just mm-hmm. lost a fight. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and, the, and the reason they said it was because they was like, nah, like, she hit that nigga first. Yeah. So now, once you once you hit that nigga, y'all fighting. It's not a it's not a domestic. It's not like a, and the domestic violence thing is like he's just whooping your ass and you yeah, just you screaming. Just, you and, just ain't doing ain't shit you could do. But if you put your hands on him and he put his hand, now y'all fighting and she just lost the fight. And I was like, that's mad that mad. is that's a crazy way to think. Yeah. I feel but, like men could do other things. You don't have to hit a woman. You like you know you're stronger than her. You could just grab her and. But women can do other things. Like what? Name some. Like, don't put your fucking hands on me. I mean, that's facts. <laughs> that's facts. Don't put I your don't, fucking I hands on me. I don't agree with that either. Like, I, women should not be hitting men either. And I feel like that's the part that always gets forgotten. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, I didn't mention nothing about it. But <laughs> <laughs> either I'm way, it's, you, it's wrong. Like, we shouldn't be putting our hands on each other at all. Like, I agree. If, but... That don't be the case a lot of times. Yeah, I mean. All right, cause oh, I have. <laughs> uh, this is the final video tonight. It was this was supposed to be, and it probably still will be some bonus content. But <clears throat> this is a married couple. You know how like you had them people they do the green screen shit where mm-hmm. motherfuckers be watching this. Right. It's that, but it's a married couple, and I guess in a way through the editing they're reacting to. This other lady saying that a man should always walk away. Give a damn if you slap him in the head with a pan, he not supposed to hit you back. Are you stupid or something? So y'all young folks think it's okay to fight. It ain't. The man ain't supposed to, he's supposed to walk away, okay? Hey, boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Dr. Heavenly, I would hope that whatever your doctorate degree is in, and I don't mean any disrespect. <laughs> would help you to understand that the first and foremost message is that people need to keep their hands to themselves. Ladies, keep your hands and your skillets to yourself. If you can't whoop somebody, you shouldn't even try. Don't put these men in a position where they feel like they have to defend their lives and end up f***ing you up. The more you f*** around, the more you're going to find out. If you stay down here and you never f*** around, you'll never find out. So, yeah. She's what we call stupid. She's stupid. I still stand by what I said. You said the same thing they said. Who pull a frying pan out and try to hit me with it? See what happens. You're going to block that bitch like uh, Captain America with the shield. And then uppercut the fuck out of her. <laughs> we should have had James here to say it with you. Would have listen, done. Listen. <laughs> you would have done. I never, I never, I don't get it twisted. My mama always taught me to keep my hands to myself, but also, 
you're definitely not gonna try to hit me with a fucking frying pan and think. What if it was like a cast iron? Oh, that's even worse. You never <laughs> thought you were gonna do that. Your life in danger. You never. And I'm I'm supposed to just fuck out. Just I'll go. I'll just go to the living room. Like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, no, we're boxers. <laughs> just like Boxing. buddy, buddy said, you you finna, you finna lose a fight. <laughs> that's what it is. That's unfortunate, but it's like boxing. boxing. Ding ding ding. Yeah. Oh, that boy said he's shooting. I'm I'm not gonna shoot it. I didn't say that. <laughs> you just waved the gun around. Got you. Oh, but, so you're snitching. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's not in the camera. All right. So. All right, dog. So now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a Chekhov's gun situation where it has to be used. <laughs> That's like, crazy do, that you just threw your life away like <laughs> do what you do, This is Clyde's last episode. <laughs> it was a good one. We're going to put you with some uh, some airbrushed wings. Oh, Please don't. Clouds. Oh, my God. Don't do it. <laughs> it's so hard. Bruh, for me, if I ever die, bro, please, if anybody try to bring that T-shirt design, man, kill them niggas, bro. We're going to put you. We're going to airbrush your picture on the front of a, a, a Cadillac. Don't do with that some, shit. With some dubs. At least if you gonna do wings, do like chicken wings behind me. I actually like that. Don't do no fucking well, heaven wings. Well, before you put the pluck the feathers and shit, I don't wing. They hell look the same. Hell no. <laughs> or we could just put some whole chickens behind you and call it a day. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Put some nice words on the back. Yeah. Please don't. Shit. Oh, he was a great friend. Oh God, please. Brother. I'm getting so annoyed Son. thinking about that shit, bro. <laughs> Oh, we can just say he was great. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't gonna put out that other shit. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to say Zay had that shit said he was, and then that was right. it. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this, they're gonna say this class. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, sir. At an hour and a half. Yes, sir. Carmen, did you have a good time? I did. It went by fast. And it's and it's fucked up that it's this is your first and last time since you moving. I mean, you moving? Yeah, I am. Where? At the end of December. What? Where you moving? North Carolina. You want to see it? Yeah, Charlotte area. Love the fucking my fucking nigga. I love it. I mean, it's don't necessarily have to be the last time. I could come I mean, back and visit if you would is, have me. Y'all, are we still friends? I don't disagree with nothing you're saying. Okay. Absolutely. Um, Clyde, first time back in five months, probably at this point. Probably. How you? How you? Uh, does, does it fit? It's like is it like riding a bike? You know, you just, I don't you know just, how to ride a bike. No. <laughs> 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 What'd I'm you do sorry. when you was outside? Um, <laughs> I just kind of ran around. You was chasing chasing your friends on the bike. No, I didn't have friends like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Only child problems. <laughs> Only child living in a racist neighborhood. Mm. Oh, that too. Yeah, that'll do it. Like <sighs> <laughs> I said, I gotta. <laughs> so, Carmen. Uh, where do you want the people? Where can the people find you? Or you don't want the people to find you? Um, they can. They can follow my one of my Instagram pages. Natural, one of them. Natural scenes. I have like a photography page. Oh, that okay. I haven't taken up pictures in a minute though. Natural scenes. How you spell? It's in, oh, in wow. a. <laughs> I spell it different, so I gotta. Look at it. Clyde, where can they find you? What she finds that? Oh, uh, find me on. Instagram, Facebook, everything at Claude Okoji, C L Y D E O K O J I E. Also, make sure y'all vote for me for my uh, contest I'm in. I'm trying to win $10,000. When is that over? Uh, In nine days. Right yes. now, I'm in eighth place. I'm in the quarterfinals, but I'm in eighth place. I need to be in first. So you can vote by clicking the link in my uh, bio, clicking the link in my Instagram story. Um, you can vote every day. You can do a free vote, or you can make a monetary donation, and that'll get me votes. So like ten dollars is ten votes, twenty five dollars twenty five votes, so on, so on. So yeah. Uh, this in nine days from today. Mm-hmm. This should be out by then. If 
But I'll put this clip out so that people can see. All right. Um, My Instagram is N A T U R A L E scenes. Spell normally S C E N E S. Um, that's my Instagram and that's where y'all can follow me if you're interested. Um, yeah. Glad to be back. Glad to be consistent over these past couple weeks. And hopefully that consistency continues. And we don't take another fucking four, five month break, four month break. Even though Clyde is still trying to lead the show. What? But that's neither hither nor thither. <laughs> Speaking of telling to me later. <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> y'all can always find me. That's how you ending it? Huh? That's how you ending it? That's it? See, you haven't watched the past oh few episodes. I just, I just cut it off. I told you. <laughs> All right, we got one more thing. <laughs> we got one more thing to add. I just want to shout out my hometown, Oakland, California, specifically West Oakland and North Oakland. Whoop. Shout out to the home team. I miss it there, but it's all right. Whoa. That's all I want to say. Clyde, you want to shout out anybody? Nobody? Not even the good noobs? Shout out to the Bay Area Zetas. Z-Y. Shout out to the Bay Area Zetas. Z-Y. Z-Fi. Z-Fi. Excuse me. Z-Fi. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>